Hi, in this video I'll be covering lookups to find multiple matches. If you've done lookups with VLOOKUP, INDEX and MATCH, or even the new XLOOKUP function, it usually just brings back one record or one match per cell. But what if you wanted to look up to find multiple matches? Think you'd have to write some crazy long formula or VBA code? Well, with a neat dynamic array function in M365, Microsoft 365, it's just a simple combination with other functions that will take you less than a couple minutes to put together maybe even less than one minute. Once you understand how it's done, let's check it out. So we can perform a lookup and bring back multiple results using a combination of functions. Now here, here's a simple table. Let's say I want to do a lookup for my SKUs here and I want to bring back all the results for that. Um, let's get a unique list of my SKUs here. We can do it two ways. I can take this, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and under data, uh, let's do the remove duplicates. So I remove duplicates, I get my duplicate, I get my uh, unique values here. Another way we can do it is using a um, dynamic dynamic array function, and this is something that you can use in Office um, Microsoft 365. If you have, you have the M365 subscription, you can do it. If not, you don't have this function capable. So this is the unique function. And what we need to do is just bring back this array and then press enter and we have our unique values. And it kind of spills over to the other cells. You can notice that this text is kind of black and this is kind of gray. And so dynamic arrays kind of spill the results over to um, adjacent cells. Now with that there, what we need to do is use a function called filter. And a filter is another dynamic array function. So if you don't have M365, you're kind of out of luck. And there's other ways to do this. And now I have a description of my other videos that can show you how to do this. But this is using the filter function. And what we need to do is bring back my array. This is the array I want to bring back. Let's make this an absolute value. Press F4 to put the dollar signs in front of the numbers and letters. And what we want to include, we want to include my SKUs here. And this also needs a uh, absolute value range. I want to do it where it equals to that value, H2. And when I copy it down, it's going to be H3, H4. Press enter, and you can see that it's done that. I have Joe, Sally, and Jane, Joe, Sally, and Jane, but it's only copied it for that. And it's going to spill down to the other joining cells. So what I need to do is probably put it in across. So what I can use is another function called transpose, and I'm just going to transpose it. Instead of being vertical, it's going to make it horizontal. So close parentheses, press enter, and we have it there. If I drag the fill handle down, you can see 490, that's for Sandeep. And to see that it works, if I add other data to it, I'm going to bring it over here, move that there. And of course, I need to change the references here. Press control, enter, drag the fill, drag the fill handle down, and now I have my value there. Here I might put, uh, let me copy this, and I put salesperson number one, press control enter, and then just kind of fill it across. So it just depends on how far, double click that to autofill, how far you want this to go. But if you don't want multiple columns where we're bringing back um, all the results that a lookup can bring back and have it all just in one column and have it separated by commas, there is a way to do that. Let's control Z to undo this. And instead of using the transpose function, what I'm going to do is use the text join function. So it's going to concatenate or join the values together. So that's this function right here. Double click that. What's the delimiter I want to use? Let me click in here. The delimiter I want to use is probably going to be a comma, comma space, and then close quotes. You got to put that in quotes, comma. I'm going to do true on ignore empty cells, comma. And this text is basically my filter, my filter command or function close parentheses, control press enter to stay in that cell. I guess I put too many parentheses, you need, need only two instead of the three that I put there. And now you can see it's done that. Now you can see all the names are in one cell. Drag the fill handle down again, and you can see all the names are in one cell. I can just put control C to copy and control V to paste. I'll just put this as salespersons, double click, auto, double click the auto fit here, and we have our lookup. Now this is our lookup that brought back multiple values. And so that's the way we can do it. It's a bunch of functions here, but basically the star of the show is the filter function. And that's what you can do to perform this type of lookup. Most often we do lookups to find out a single match to bring back a single matching record. But sometimes you want the whole thing, right? You want to have all the records that fit that match. Nowadays, with the dynamic array function of filter with a combination of other legacy functions, you can do that all in no time. To see more videos like this, 
click the banner at the end. Still here? What do the sushi say to the steak? I like it raw.